preferred pick here of his Slark. So I'm excited, man. This is going to be a really fun game. Yeah, it's gonna be super fun. I, I'm a bit surprised that they go with his playstyle with the Witch Doctor, because again, the last time I saw Core Witch Doctor, it was like a blink PKB rush. So I, I feel like that's something Moo can swing around to as well if he feels the need to. Just blink BKB, connect with your tiny, get these pickoffs over and over again. Because as you mentioned, you don't have that healing stack. So you can instead focus in on that damage and just try to. Again, take control early, because this is your fastest tempo here. Chu. Oh, Chu, maybe looking Could somewhere still. else on the map for a moment, is that is definitely going to be first blood going the way of CK. And that smoke pop, he, uh, he like knew something was up, but uh, looks like they're going to get the D ward as well. Oh, yeah. So that's, uh, you know, not a bad start for the nouns lineup here. Seconds to battle. Oh, it, that feels pretty damn good. Good start coming out from Yamsen. Has a little bit more gold to get. And they can line up for... Well, it does look like OG's in a good position to contest the other two runes, but they could try to snag away an extra if they want with you know, the forced respawn and the walk of shame for Chu here. Yamsen. I mean, they've got a lot of stun here. There's going to be the stun, the arrow. Not going to connect. A little bit uh, slow at the... So the trigger on that one, so we'll just back away. And it's gonna be three bounty runes for the side of OG, thanks to that posturing. I'm a little bit surprised. I, I figured Nouns could kind of rotate down bot and try to get the advantage. Instead, they lose out. So they trade first blood for an extra bounty. Kind of equalizes in the end. You know, when you think about the gold, everyone kind of gets on the map. So you don't feel too bad on OG's side losing too early on. He also doesn't level up anything just yet going into the lane. So you can kind of look and see and decide what works well in this lane. Like the glimpse is still there if he wants it, but you can just harass back with Thunder Strike. He's copying a bit too much damage from Lullis though. And already he's having to eat through his second stack of Tangos early on. Mm. Mu does start off with that early voodoo. Is this is this what you saw in the off lane Witch Doctor yeah. last time as well? Just early voodoo, clear out the wave, use the damage part of it to harass a little bit. Yeah, and when you're against a melee hero, it's just gonna chip away at them a little bit. Yeah, and like I said, he has been just maxing this out. Four points voodoo um, almost every single time and just relying on that to sustain him, but just kind of win the trades in the lane. And yeah, it's not bad. It's kind of annoying. And Lelis should be able to get a lot of denies on the tiny. Dude, this is just a classic position for a tiny. Comes to lane with a tree grab and just clicks his own creeps. Just try to get that equilibrium, balance out the heals coming out from Witch Docker. Should be a pretty annoying lane for Yuragi. I think you start to feel better maybe by level 3. After you can start to connect, try to go for glimpse and pounce plays if you want to, but it does feel a lot harder to go for those burst plays when the Witch Doctor tiny is there. The threat of counterplay is too high. We did see a little bit of a low drop from Gunner, and we're taking a look down bot here with some aggression coming out from Taiga and DM onto the side of Nouns, Husky and Yamsen. Again, not the most natural Marana combination with a Chaos Ball 3 Altru Rift, but you can make it work. The aggression from OG can also kick in fast. Like level 2 on Techies with a Blast Off, you can just really scare off the side of Nouns quite well. Especially if DM starts to get the Devourer and starts to see some nice skills on hand. Like a nice little slow on hand would probably just lead to a lot of kills. Radiance middle tower nice little, I mean, the thing is, is DM did go for the correct build, like an early Wraith band and a lot of damage thrown back the other way. Taiga, however, just got clipped by the tower, so they don't want to dive any further. But yeah, that, that Wraith band's bonus armor is going to do wonders here against the CK because you do not want to be playing on low armor against the uh, Reality Rift. It's more than enough to just keep him alive, as the as the old Doom memes are. Plus one armor, unkillable. I like how this feeling fine. Hero used to have literally zero armor, and now he's just yeah. like base five. <laughs> oh, they're going to get very aggressive here once again as Yamsun in the danger zone. There's going to be... I mean, the right click from Husky might be able to bring down Taiga. The blast off? No way! He gets what? him, dude. Well done. Chases him under the tower there. That was sick. And that's pretty insane. 
Slowing down Yamson by a good amount. BM still really healthy down here as well. I love the aggressive build in Doom. Like, not going Devour, just going for Scorched Earth, Infernal Blade, harassing out. Like, that percent base damage on the CK, even early on, which is so annoying to deal with. Down mid, we've been seeing trades of blows between BZM and Gunner. Like, Gunner's been dropping low, so has BZM. So far, been much more manageable for BZM. Gunner, quite a fair bit behind. Which is sort of to be expected. I feel like Amber just has a lot more play potential here. And, you know, you don't really have anyone to tie in for Gunner to, you know, sustain him in lane as you would normally when you're getting harassed out like this. Rune control, though, is important for both, and Gunner should at least find one water rune, so it's not going to be completely tossed out, but full strength shift. Eh, he's not feeling too good right now. Yeah, I mean, he should be able to reach out under the tower here. He just has to be careful with the slide of fist, so he's going to start the Agi shift. And then pop these runes in a little bit, so. Just gonna, unfortunately, cost him some CS, but does pretty much reset his his HP for the lane. I like BZM's build, man. Three point slide of fist, two point flame guard. He's been able to just shove the lane very aggressively here into this morphling, and it's working out really well. Yeah, he's just able to run down Gunner, oh use gosh. the creep aggro really nice. Yoragi's courier, and, and boots, and a rate fan. That is huge. Uh, Chu actually in a lot of problems here is Mu just standing on top of him, burn him down. It's going to be Lelis with one more auto attack. So Noun's on the board once, or I guess not on the board, but finding another one. Yeah, this is this is what I missed out from not going to Romania. This is the any games I missed out on. Like this one two one witch talker build. I am I am so sad. I'm so sad I didn't get to see this in PPC. <laughs> like the damage yeah. output. <laughs> you know, he's, he's got arcane boots already as well. Moo's going to be able to sustain this. Oh, Putting yeah. on and off on the voodoo. No problems. Now, Gunner definitely struggling here in this mid lane on the Morphling. I mean, this is the oh. one lane that's not going super well. <laughs> Let's give it a nice chase down there onto Taiga, utilizing those leap charges. Dying Finding that kill, very worth it. Making some space for Mianson, but also kind of threatening the Doom now. Yeah, they can they can try to threaten. It still doesn't feel easy to jump DM. And he, he just feels way too dribble. He even has the raindrops on hand to prevent some of that magical damage from coming true. And you've got a lot of protection despite being solo for a little bit down there on boss. Yamsen CS has managed to climb up quite a nice amount though. So your CK is farming quite well. BCM though, found mid. The arrow? The arrow? Oh! Husky got him! What? Dude, he just did not see that coming at all. Yoinks the haste rune, sets up an arrow for Husky. That's huge. I mean, this salvages Gunner's lane actually quite a bit because he's going to be able to get some good XP here and he's going to lose a whole creep wave on the Ember. That's massive. Gunner finally gets the bailout he needs on Top lane, you're not done. Look at this, the chase continues. Ends up bringing down the Slark oh my, and Mu will oh find a kill onto the Disruptor. Bottom lane? Is he out? Okay, he's out! Dude, there is so much aggression on the map right now. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yamsen still had the sticky bombs stuck to him when he went to base. <laughs> so, you know, there was still, like, a chance that he could die. A very marginal chance, but it always kind of dicey. A strong start for now. Dude, there's Seven no to one is for trying again. Oh, they will glimpse back Lela, so that will save Yuragi. But I mean, this three point Star Storm on this Marana, she's almost level six at eight minutes. Chu oh, thought God. he could maybe offer some help, but not at all. Radiant's Your top tower will at least survive for now as the catapult does fall, but they're just going to try and click it up. So that's it. Top tower dies. Oh, my God. Moo. Fingy hurts too. And it's not stopping him. You know, I, to be fair. You know, like, Witch Doctor probably is one of the least stressful heroes to play, so there you go. His fingies not being stressed too much. Lelis might get his fingies stressed, but does back off. You just press W, leave it on. All right, guys. I'm playing. We're good. Radiance bottom tower. Yeah, I mean, mana boots and soul ring. He, he knows, like, mana is, like, the limiting factor on this hero, right? So just making sure to have as many options there. Eight minute runes are spawning Gunner. Does bottle up the DD rune, man. Just to, to steal it there out of BZM's hands. Uh, trying to run down. They're going for a good play. Lelis is kind of quick, throws the avalanche to zone him out, and Husky TP's bottom. So they're just not wanting to uh, fight up right now against against OG. 
I think that's a fair call. Just play it safe. Trying to just try to bail out. Don't give that opportunity. You know, OG's kind of clumped up. They do have that Moonlight Shadow already up on Husky, though. Radiance They're going to see them under a sentry here. Yeah, they know about this. The question is, can Lyles get in, in range for the Avalanche? Does he get a pull back? If you manage to get on top of him, he, he's dead, I think, right? There's no way out. You're already going to get aggressive here onto the Tiny. He's going to go ahead and pop that Phantasm. This Tiny does juke back the other way. Yuragi not quite level six. Yamsun has a bolt in one. Husky's going to go for the Star Storm. Doesn't connect. Nice juke there out by the Slark. And looking for more glimpse. We'll pull Husky right back into the hands. Does throw the arrow. Taiga gets him a double kill on the end of the day so a beautiful rotation in there from the disruptor and bzm no chains on the ember he's four points slide of fist so he cannot uh, allow them to chase down the amazon the Amson just kind of bails out the one thing for og right now is despite now and having its 9 to three lead they are still farming pretty damn well like, yuragi is suffering quite a fair bit you know, DM on the doom he's starting to get the devourers flowing in bzm like there's this huge tie between DM, BZM, Yamsum, and Gunner. So farm yeah. distribution there is just fine. It's so it's the outliers that are too. concerning. It's Mu at 4.5k net worth and Yuragi at 3k that yeah. are causes of concern. Like Yuragi is still trying to work on to Midas. The one thing with Midas Lark is he can use the attack speed, but this does feel like a hero that has really good early tempo. Like you get an Echo Saber with Power Treads, you can kind of join in early, and then you get your Ags up. You have a lot of control in these fights. With the Midas build, that just feels, you know, a, a little bit slower. Like, your yeah. threat isn't there as fast. So, there's an opening for now. It's just keep this momentum going their way. And they are playing really quick, right? Looking at the items, there's not really a lot of, excuse me, greed coming out from, from them. They're going to go for the Holy Locket. He's already got it completed on the Witch Doctor. Gunner just bought is buying a Dragon Lance, right? So he wants to be able to just fight early. Probably going to go BKB shortly after. And Yam Sun's on his way to his armlet. So you have the, the tricor here from Nouns that are going to want to actually try and force objectives and, and and play pretty aggressive. And this is what Nouns typically does. Like this is a team that does not like to play for late game. They want to have thirty oh, yeah. minute games where they just run at you. This is just like a staple of how they play and how they view the game at the moment. So. Oh, we'll yeah. see. I mean, that, that, that sounds like my experience throughout Tour 1 in NA. That that was basically mostly what I saw. Like, even Bait was kind of in that zone where, you know, they'd run the mid Witch Doctor, then we just rush Blink. And he, him and Moose would kind of run around and just kill people. Yeah. So, I do like that. I do, I do enjoy and appreciate that playstyle. Uh, speaking of another Moo, Mr. Moo with his Fingy. Uh, he's he's basically got the holy lock it up. Yep, it's so done. all that Both healing is going to be so hot. Like the sustain is so good, and OG don't really have burst on hand, not yet. Yeah, not yet. So all this healing will just drag these fights out so long, and it's it's weird to drag fights out up against uh, Slark at the same time. You do have good output with your morphling. Yeah, we'll see what they can do here. Mid lane, they get the toss back here on bzm is he's just gonna be able to get away which is fine 10 minute rune will be in biz he bottles that one up the rune of but, yeah, 10 minute mark offline witch doctor having a great time just farming the enemy jungle no the problems. fact that husky was so high level so early is pretty nuts for the state of uh his game yeah but he hit six around the same time dm did maybe even faster actually yeah speaking of dm he does have his midas up but that early moonlight I mean, it didn't really lead to much but it just enabled now it's to still keep playing rest of the grouping up mid now and be able to get a nice shove in they get a good courier snipe going their way but their tier one still exposed and no one from OG is coming in for this defense. They do have a fort, but yeah, BZM's just gonna try and drag the wave. They're gonna pop the fort. Now the catapult is still alive and Moo's just tanking the tower with level four voodoo. So well toggle the aggro there on over to Gunner, and the rest of the team's actually smoking top, so they will lose this mid tower and you need to be careful on DM. If they manage to take down the Doom here, it's gonna be really rough. Smoke does pop. Lelis doesn't find him. He actually jukes back the other way. So good awareness there out of DM. Yeah, backs off in the nick of time. And they are, again, playing the long game here on OG. 
Right? Like you're trying to build up. They've got the Midas on Uragi. They've got the Midas on DM. Uh, you're still trying to build BZM up into his full spirit vessel to kind of counteract a little bit of that healing coming out from move. And once you can get the first charge going there, then you've got a lot more fight available on your hands. You just need to look for that opportunity when everyone's ready. I do feel like you're allowing Nouns to and get a little bit too much going their way. Oh, they ping mid. Lock my shadow. Oh. Who are they going to find? I mean, obviously, BZM is what they really want. As they will go ahead. Instantly oh. remnants away. Nice scan. Lelis will look for two, but does not manage to get on top of the time. Avalanche, the arrow, does not connect, but, you know, Witch Doctor makes his presence. He just walks on over. We'll chase him down under the tower. So killing spree now for the Witch Doctor. As a regen rune will spawn top. Nice little pickup for them to find. This Wonder isn't bad for OG, the bottle off the move. Like, OG's it's not still getting position. a lot on the map. Well, I say that. Can they find a kill? They... Ooh. Okay, six light chain play there from Gunner. Sets up a kill onto the to BZM's Ember Spirit. I mean, yeah. that was beautifully done. That's what we talk about. You know, if Gunner doesn't get to play Ember, he'll find a way to play Ember anyway. But he's more fun. He gets a slight chains combo and they run down. I mean, it's still not a bad position for OG. I agree with your point there, Ricky. Although it could get a little bit worse here. Oh, yeah, it's getting a little worse. His DM's gonna eat the Death War top and Mu now dominating 4 0 and 4. It's it's, dude, that is so scary. This offlane Witch Doctor has more net worth than an offlane Doom with four points devour and Yeah. Yep. yep. I mean, to be fair to DM, he did stall out Devourer level until like 3, so I yeah. guess there's a little bit of CS or a little bit of gold you miss out from that, not too much, but yeah, Mu, Mu is insane. And imagine, this is this is the man with his fingy hurting. No, Neff had to triage that. He's not triage even that power? fingy with a bandage. Not at full power, Ricky. Oh, no. Mu, is, Mu is on relaxation mode right now to help rest his finger. Thank you, Neff, for the quick triage. Don't have Moonlight Shadow for another 30 seconds, and they are smoked up here, looking for Yamsun top. And Yamsun is the hero that is kind of vulnerable on the side of Nouns at the moment, just because this, you know, they do have a lot of ways of dealing with his illusions. But Taiga smoke gets popped, and they don't manage to get in range for the glimpse, so he's out. Ends up being okay. Yeah, just fine. He's still getting his own build up as well. He is starting to lag behind. I mean, he's still above BZM, but Yuragi has managed to take over with his Midas. Still, your CK timings are still lining up. Like, Echo Saber's still gonna come out. The Blink's not gonna be too far off as well. So, you've still got your big jump in and burst potential play still ready to go. Sooner rather than later, you've got the full mech up and Moo. He is just healing for a lot. At that point, oh, I guess. There's a hasted morphling. He's gonna go into three mines though. <laughs> Almost goes down. That's a little bait play there from Taiga, but does not manage to net them a kill. Meanwhile, bottom lane, they're looking for Tiny. That's gonna be a nice ult there from the Disruptor, but saved is Gunner. Makes his presence known here as he just comes on in. Shadow, I mean, Shadow Dance is available. He blocks the pounce though. The arrow's gonna connect. Oh my god. Yuragi's dead. Are you kidding me? Hunter. Hunter, you madman. Still Quick had a haste response. once. Oh, they can't even kill off the tiny. Like, Lala still walks out. That static storm committed for his support, and you just don't have output. Again, this goes back to a little bit on that Midas. You just don't have the same presence as you would with, say, the Echo Saber, or, say, a Fast Defusal. Even a Sanjin Yasha, I think, would be arguably a little bit more consistent Ooh, output there. Top lane in some trouble here. He's trying to heal us up. He does have a mech as well. Does just, oh, he just gets doomed instead. Yams on coming through, trying to see if he can maybe lock down BZM. A huge avalanche. Oh, oh. They get a turn. I mean, that's still pretty dang good for the side of OG. Taking down that really, really strong Witch Doctor. He had a huge kill streak as well. So a lot of gold going to DM. Yeah, no. Oh, well, he, he just finds a, you know, what we like to refer to as the bonus kill. Uh, he's going to get ran down here by the Doom. There's a Scorched Earth in five. He doesn't have any help coming. Meanwhile, they just killed Yuragi again. What? Well, let's toss away another avalanche. This guy is so good, actually. <laughs> he's just gone. All right. They do get the D ward. He knows fine. something's up there. He, he's, he's got the Blink already on hand. He's got the Tumblr store. He's so mobile. 
on that tiny. And now it's just working this aggression across the map. I mean, they they are just on fire. 17 to 4 and OG. This is this is looking a little bit rough. Avatos, that's the blink reveal into an oh arrow! My God, are They've you got kidding BZM! Me? Are you Dude, kidding me? They have such Ow. huge pick potential now. That is just madness. Like, the fact that Lela survives, he still gets his blink reveal, connects with his team, and then goes straight to Roche. Like, this is nutty coordination coming out from now. It's an OG. Uh, just looking a little bit lost. Like, they are still playing to their strengths. They're holding out, they're stalling out and building up, but in that interim period, while they're not ready, and nouns, they're just, they're just ruining them. Who is? He's almost at Parthen Greaves. I can't, I can't believe this works. I, I'm actually in disbelief. This is, this is madness. God. <laughs> this is smart. And they, they're not going to major, right? Like, this, this, that's the unfortunate thing with NA being as tight as it is. This is number three in NA, and you know a lot of people would meme about that, but now it's a team with promise and memes. Uh, a lot, lot of memes. memes. If there's one thing NA has, it is definitely memes. A lot of weebs, I suppose. But then again, with Neff out of casting, at, at least that's one less weeb in casting. I'm going yeah. to replace him. The Moonlight Shadow comes through, they have the Avalanche, the Toss, Husky, doesn't even need to throw the arrow. They managed to take down that Doom, and... Tonight. They are just making so much work. They, anytime they see an OG hero on the map, they just run, like, they just rotate and, and try and the find the kill. That's kind of just seems like the, the game plan for them. And I feel like they have to, right? You're against a double Midas lineup from OG and, like, Doom Slark. If this goes late, those heroes will definitely outscale. I think will outscale the side of Nouns, depending on how far like, you're behind you are at that point. Yeah, for sure. Like there, there's a lot of growth potential for OG. For Moo. Moo. Yeah. He gets a slight change. Oh, they got the uh, glimpse back. Oh my God, Lel is a perfect interrupt oh, there. Oh no. They do get the spirit vessel out onto the witch doctor. He can heal up a little bit with the mech. Tiny on the backside, just getting burned down. He's trying to survive this, but the mines are too much. BZM gets the kill. Lelis did survive. The doom does catch the chaos knight. His gunner will take down DM. So far, a two for one. The question oh is, can they get out? Chu will be able to glimpse in Yamsun as the Slark comes in now, and Arrow's caught him. There's an avalanche in a moment. He needs help. Yuragi's not going to no get it. It's a triple kill for Gunner's Morphling. You get no a way. good start to the fight. You take down the Witch Doctor, but you lose so much more. It's, it's insanity. Like... They're, they're, they get the Doom off, it takes them so long to chase down Yams, and Gunner is free to dance around. I don't think the CK is your problem, and it hasn't been your problem for a while. It's been Gunner and Mu. Like, it, it sounds weird, but Dooming Mu, especially in that earlier time they ganked him, probably isn't the worst thing in the world. Dooming Gunner is probably your best bet here, but he's he's inching closer to that to that Ags. I wouldn't be surprised by Lincoln's pickup at some point here as well. And I think, I think for Mu, once he hits Guardian Greaves and maybe his shard, I'm trying to recall, does Glimpse drag you out of your voodoo switcheroo? No, it does not. There you go. You are you're, you're completely be fine. untargetable in there. So, Moo grabs a DD rune. That's always fun. Taiga just catches a casual Maledict. Um, so, Guardian Greaves, I mean, last Aww. fight, the only reason Moo died here. Oh, did I miss something? Ooh, oh, yeah, no. So Taiga did his blast off after being Malik. So oh, he yeah, lost he a, a lot huge of chunk of his HP. <laughs> oh okay, God. that makes sense. Does he have the magic resist oh. talent yet? He does not. So he's only level nine. So when oh, no. he's level ten, it, it becomes a lot easier. He gets that twenty percent magic resist. But um, yeah, it shouldn't happen. What I was saying is, Dyer's top tower. you're about to have guardian groups, and the only reason Mu died in this last fight, which there they are, is because of that vessel, right? And now it's not going to yep. be that easy to break him down. Dyer's top tower. He is just, attack. he is just going to be so hard to stop. And again, going for that shard next as well, and he's just getting casual push on tier two. No defense from OG is again. This lineup is, it needs time to cook. It needs time to build up. You're inching towards BZM's Maelstrom, that helps a little bit. Ags for Yuragi, two parts away. And BKB up for DM. 
Well, it was up in the last fight as well, but he's got the blink on top of that shadow. as well. BZM needs to be yeah. so careful. If he catches the Chaos Knight stun, he's gone. I think they saw him on the ward on the backside. Yeah, so that'll kind of reveal it. Does manage to defend the, the mid tower, but Ember Spear obviously the kill that they were looking for. That would have been big to just shut the BZM down once more. Now it's just still making steady progress on a map. Again, tier 2 top taken, outpost in their control. They've got not too much time left in the ages, to be fair. Like it is going to fade in 20 seconds, but Gunner's also going to have his ags. Like, that, that stat ceiling is just, it's just nuts. Like, just I wonder, turn the Slark. Yeah, I was going to say, I wonder if he just goes for the Slark, right? Because you just lose so much attack speed, and Slark has to rely on that attack speed to start ramping in these fights. And then you just get double pounce for the Ember, which I don't know how BZM plays the game when there's a double pounce morphling on you. Yeah, you just don't, especially not until you have your BKBs up, which BZM again, he could swing towards, but the Maelstrom, he does buy out the Javelin. He's just going to go into that. No protection on the Ember, very susceptible to that catch from the side of Nouns. And, you know, Nouns, I mean, OG is still finding room to farm in. Yeah, we have they're to see playing these perfectly chaos. right now on OG. Like, I know that sounds weird because they've been hemorrhaging a lot of deaths, but they are basically completely avoiding nouns on the map at the moment, and that's exactly what they need to do. They they cannot fight them, right? They need their BKBs. Well, I say that, and it looks like they actually want to try and fight here potentially. Moose keeping in, they're looking for Lelis. He just aggressively blinks onto Tech. He's the Avalanche to toss back Gunner. In some trouble, those DM managed to get on top of him, and there's the do. Yamsun's got to offer some assistance. Yuragi getting aggressive as well. The four staff trying to get the Morphling out of dodge, but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to. The Morph, it's safe. I'm saving for a little bit, but it's not going to be nearly long enough. The buyback here from the tiniest. Yamsun burns as well. Huge wins from OG. You didn't have the Witch Doctor here, and Husky's going to get burned as well. That's a lost gem. That is massive. Like That, that was such a good glimpse back to target Mu Dragon where he was TPing into that fight and just taken back. Like they needed the heal, they needed that Karj and Greaves to kick in, they needed that max level of Voodoo Restoration, but it's not able to show up and OG capitalize on it. Like they get the Doom off and the big target this time onto Gunner. He's not able to morph into that Slark as we kind of T-recrafted and that keeps it in the game. Suddenly that lead now it's had, it's just completely gone. Less than 1k their way. Farm, just farm distribution coming out from OG is very clean. I might find a freebie here. Okay, yep, that's definitely what you would call a freebie. Nah. Yuragi Not the biggest deal up. in the world. He's like, thanks man. Um, yeah, I mean, gold gold lead completely gone. It, it, we're dead even almost within a thousand gold. They're gonna smoke up right again on nouns. They know Doom on cooldown, some of these other ones that they have to worry about. The question is, right, can they get what they want done with this Morphling Axe? Because it is available now. He didn't have it in the last fight. Yeah, like, he got it mid-fight, but he was doomed up. Yeah. So, should have an easier time here. And turning to Yuragi would be big, but... Focus on just taking out the outpost first. I do you feel like for now, so that they've got to play this? Oh, I mean, they've been trying to play fast and they've been dodged, but I think at some point you just force yourself on an objective, right? And take the fight there. It's Roche, yes, it's right? pretty awkward. Or Roche, yeah. Like you wait for Roche or just go on to the objective, or you know, take Roche and then go on to the objectives and just force the fight from there. You can't afford to keep playing this tag game where you're looking for OG and they're dodging you and you just go back farming. Because OG is building up. And, you know, soon they're going to have this Lincolns on Yuragi's working on next, Shiva's for DM. These years get a lot tankier and harder to burst down, and there's only so much to sustain Witch Doctor will take you for. Like, it's 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 not the best scaling heal. It does still heal a lot, but, you know, it's not like a percent base heal on your Winter Wyvern or something. It, it does have a top limit. Well, at least not until the 25, right? But that is, that's a long shot. Um, it's a long way. Super long Roche respawn as well. I mean, almost max. It was like three minutes, 45 seconds or something. And Taiga, they get him going in. They pop the drums. He's going to be able to catch Gunner. That's perfect. Chu should be able to follow this one up, but he gets the haste rune away. He's going to be okay. Okay. They turn around onto the techies. Meanwhile, topside, they're chasing down BZM into the trees. He gets out. So they do manage to just trade, tank down the techies, but they don't get anything else out of it. And that's a, that's a pretty good campfire. 
very convenient for Gunner, and they, if they managed to land the kinetic field, I think Gunner would still probably be dead, but yeah. they didn't manage to clip it in. Fields out. Still doesn't quite show off his uh, ags on Morphling, but probably not the biggest deal in the world. And for Nouns, that's them being aggressed on, so you're feeling pretty good right now. Uh, BZM might walk into the ward range. Should be a bit spicy here. He's going dice next. Okay, so what do you what do you deal with? Yeah. DM? I mean, he went up there trying to go for the D ward, right? That's the was, only thing. I don't know if he was. He doesn't. There was no sentry on hand, and he just kind of dancing in the tree line gets taken out. Nah, that's oh, a big man. kill going back to Moo. That, that ward that like just expired or something. Lead. Yeah, it just did. Right yeah, when Lulus jumped in with the Avatos. That's huge. That's a, that's another huge kill. Uh, they definitely knew that kill or that ward was there at some point because I know Slark scouted it out with Shadow with Shadow Dance earlier, but we'll see what they end up doing. Pipe queued up here from Moo as well. And Lulus will grab a four staff. So they do have that'll be the third four staff now, right? Because they have one on Husky, one on Lulus, and the Pike completed on the Morphling. So lots of ways of getting away from this Slark. But how do you get away from the Doom? Because I feel like this is the question mark that Nouns have to deal with, right? They cannot allow this Morphling to get doomed. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be the Lincoln's on Gunner. That'll take you pretty far, but I think the next play is just avoiding DM. Just ensuring that Gunner doesn't get jumped. Because I, I feel like DM size is going to be looking at right. Dooming up the CK is all right. Dooming up the Witch Doctor, as funny as that sounds, is probably not too bad as well. Considering how much Mu sustains in these fights. Yeah. So, if they force a fight in a way where you don't see Gunner and you're getting run down by your other cores from now on, then he's going to be forced to do him and Gunner's just safe. Until the Lincoln's up. When it's, when it's up, Gunner's you know, free to do what he wants as they go into the Roche. Full BKB up for BCM. OG they have they could have an interesting time to fight here. They, 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 they do have an idea. Yeah, near max Back duration around. spawn. And so the scan does come out from the Radiant Husky. He has his ult available. We'll scout DM here. So that blink won't be available as the Roshan will get finished up here. Gunner grabbing the Aegis, the Shard as well. And OG, maybe in a little bit of a rough spot here. DM continuing to chase Husky, but it's not, not going to be able to find the kill. And now the Doom. He's gonna have to probably BKB TP. Never mind. They catch him with an arrow, avalanche, and then there's the chaos bolt as well. DM, he's gone. That is, yeah, that's just so awkward from the side of OG. Their rotation into the pit cut off by Husky, and then they just have to play tag with the supports and should they minimize their losses by kind of glimpsing Gunner back, but he still has that morph. Well, he did have the start form for a little bit longer, but. Not quite. Oh, he's gonna get silenced up here again. He has the pike. Yeah, we'll just get to the low ground because of it. Radiance and the now is smoked up, attack. trying to find someone around on the map, but OG not giving him that opportunity. He will continue to try and just beat down this tower. Or, or backdoor protection, making him that a little bit more difficult. I think they're trying to force the Doom buyback, right? But he's not gonna get it. Yeah. It's already on to respawn. So. They don't make too much progress. I mean, the tower's down to fairly low, but whether or not they want to commit while the threat of Doom is still there on DM, probably not. Especially since, again, you still don't have that Lincoln Sop and Gunner. Just play it safe. Go back. You still have a lot room. of time in the Aegis anyway. Or a 30 minute power room. It's a regen top. You, you just sometimes nah, you, not the you best. win yeah. when you. You know? Yeah. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose in that gamble. Oh, they did uh, get their chance. All right. Did DM have the gem? Did, did, uh, Yuragi was carrying it for a while, but I guess they gave it over to Doom and he gave it back top. Unless they bought a well, second gem. Well, that's the eco trade. Uh, Which I don't. I mean, I don't see a second gem anywhere on the, in the no, game. So yeah, no. that's his original gem. Thank you. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, that's the slight change. The arrow from downtown. He has oh. to be KB in. DZM, a little bit too afraid there. They get the four staffs away. In comes the techie, stunning them all up on the backside. Does cancel out the death ward as well. He's, oh no, he's still got Voodoo Switcheroo. He's gonna be able to survive this, but the Chaos Knight will be the one that falls instead. And Witch Doctor will be next on Chopping Block. Morphling still alive, does take down BZM as he's looking for more. Oh, Miragi on the Slark will be able to get away for now, but the Star Storm, Marana? He's one more attack. Will he get it? Tries the four staff after him, won't be able to. 
now Yuragi cleans up, punishes that overextension. A three for two, end up being a pretty good fight here from OG. It, it's not too bad. They take out two big cores. Gunner, however, still gets to keep his Aegis, so I don't think you mind all too much on Nouns, because he did force out Doom. You know, so that's the big thing that's kind of keeping Gunner back from committing too hard. We are seeing how annoying it is to be playing against this buff. Though. All the glimpses back on Gunner has been making it really hard for him to just focus in on the targets he needs to. Like he's not able to just Radiance fully commit, time. and all of that came down from just slightly short timing on the toss, uh, on the arrow follow-up from Husky. Like, they had a yeah. perfect combination on that Ember. If they just killed BZM fast enough, OG might not have been able to take any of that. Like, they yeah. would have just cut their losses beyond the retreat and get chased down by now. And so, just poor timing, or not really poor timing, but a rough set of events for now. It's really good opening for OG. And Ooh, we are seeing a DM work on that. Sun just aggressively blinks in. They're gonna glimpse him. Oh, just off the mark. Ooh. Okay, he just dodges it with a phantasm. That works. Yep. Very. I mean, it's not the worst thing to lose. You did have arcane, so you're gonna have phantasm up sooner rather than later. And it's, now they can connect. It's a farming spell most of the times nowadays, especially this early. Gunner grabs bottom tier one. He's gonna continue the push here. The mid tier two is very difficult to go for. So I kind of understand they want to take over the triangle. I mean, if they had it, they don't have like a ward here to scout behind the tower. But yeah, Gunner just makes super quick work. I mean, he's got the output. He's got the full uh, Lincoln's up now. And he's going to know for exactly the where Lelis next. is. Oh, they want to go. The pounce does connect. He's got four staff number one. Can they get him out at all, though? He gets glimpsed back. Nice avalanche onto two. Lelis will be the first to fall here as the BKB comes out from Zoom. He's got the Doom available. Drops it onto the CK once again. And Yamsun, he's all alone, man. He's stuck. Death Ward coming through, trying to find these kills. They pop the BKB on the Ember Spirit, but he's taking so much damage. He's got the Maledict already on top of him. The Voodoo Switcheroo trying to finish it off, but he doesn't have it. That was waveform down to low ground, the Morphling. He's your big carry. He gets the Aegis pop, though. He's got to be careful. Pouncing away, double pounds out of dodge. The Glimpse will pull him right back into the Doom, though. The pounce in is Yuragi. Tries to get on top of a nice pike to safety. He's still got Marana. He's still got Witch Doctor behind him. It's a two for two trade as pretty much every spell is spent. Still pick up the gem. Oh, that could have gone so much worse for now. It's, oh, he just it's still nice. Really. He's, still going for he's more. got a glimmer. But yeah, he's got a gem on Slark, so on, he's out. 46 Essence Chip stacks. He is super scary right now. And this is the point in the game where OG and their heroes just feel a lot stronger. Like, you still have some punching power on now, but you're dealing with Doom with a Shiva, Super Gerbil, Heart to Burst Down. The only real underfarm core right now in OG is BZM, but. Even the Ember during the BKB duration just feels like a force you can't really fully focus on with how slippery he can be. And the side of Nouns, I mean, it, it feels like as this game goes on, it's all in on Gunner. Just all in on this Morphling trying to find that target to burst and last yeah. through these fights. I feel like Chaos Knight is one of those heroes that like his his power curve is very weird because Radiant late game, like super time. late game, he just one shots heroes with a, with a single reality rift, right? But... He has had almost no impact in these fights. Two, two or three fights in a row, he doesn't get field BKB. He just gets instantly blinked on, gets doomed up, and it just burns down, right? Like the Doom, like level four Infernal Blade with the shard is just such a, a ridiculous counter to the CK hero if he finds the real one. So he needs to find something to prevent himself from getting doomed in these fights. Yeah, like. DM's been very on point for this targeting. Now and so, gonna try for a smoke player. Roshan's still a minute and wait until we see that respawn timer. They might be able to find a couple of kills to maybe lead to the high ground if they're lucky here. Yeah, the smoke's gonna get oh, found as they spotted. see the wards get placed, so BZM will not ah, stick around for that one. Do you manage to retake the outpost? But, yeah, I mean, OG grabbed their first two, tier two tower bottom. And Slark's queuing up uh, Scotty this game. Makes sense. Just slow down to morph, take away some of that healing coming through as well with a Witch Doctor in hand. You're getting a lot of good answers coming through here from OG, and Midas investment has paid off now. They are absolutely in a very comfy spot. 
And now, and, and this is just that scary moment where this draft just doesn't scale. Like, it, it just doesn't scale all too well, and they're gonna have to play really well. Full ags up on DM, skips the refresh. So there's that AoE Doom along with a Static Storm together. They're gonna be massive in these fights. The Lincolns doesn't mean much now for Gunner. Yeah, I, I mean, so here's the thing. I, I think you still have to Doom an enemy hero. Like, I, I think Dooming himself is like a huge bait because Four Staff will just be such a problem. Techies, Avalanche, toss back. They have the vision. So Techies will go down. Another long Roche respawn, just uh, almost two and a half minutes. So we'll see who that ends up favoring, but yeah, for now, neither team really position to take it. They will get some and there's a possibility where you doom yourself and you catch everyone with the four staffs inside, right? Yeah. So no one can four staff, but that's that's a bit of a gambit. Yeah. That you have like if there's a single hero that has a four staff available, they just get they just get away. So it's one of those things that I think he'll probably still doom the CK, but we'll see. We have the Lincoln Spear picked up on the Morphling as he's queuing up a Scythe of Ice next, which. Really smart, just have more lockdown, more control in these fights, which they're definitely starting to lack. How do you, like, here's the thing with this Witch Doctor, right? It started off top net worth of this game, and it is now really struggling. I mean, one OG thing looking is that to get aggressive. Slark just goes right on in, and Avalanche does connect up on the high ground. There's the Doom. He's managed to catch the Morphling. They need to force staff him away, but he just gets forced staff into the Static Storm instead. Gunner in so much trouble. The Stark right on top of him as well. That's it, baby. He's not going to be able to survive this at all. The Death Ward comes down, but there's no real help as now the chase continues on to Yamsun. He's got the Phantasm available. He will pop, but he tries to pull Doom right back into this, but his illusions are instantly cleaned up. The Ember Spirit way too good at dealing with them. They've caught the Witch Doctor as well. Double kill for BZM, a four for nil. Oh, man. It's not looking good for now. It's like, he did. Did DM do himself there? I think he did, right? Yeah, he did. Jumping in. They, they just couldn't force that. Wrong direction being faced from Gunner. And they, the cleanup from OG is just so much easier now. Like, you're not nearly farmed enough on your CK to blow all of these heroes up. He is only above Mu in terms of the cores right now in farm. All the gold has been funneled into Gunner. And if he can't morph into the Slark and try to hit, I mean. He just has no play. It's just so dangerous with that Ags on Doom. This is just ruining the game for now. And, and OG now, I'm very in a position to take Roche. Respawning in a short time. It's a window here. They've got the Mines watching, giving them some vision. Yeah. They can gun for that Roche on. And that, it has a free Ags as well. What more could you ask for? That is perfect. I mean, this is exactly what you would like to get on BZM if you can. I mean, maybe you give it to Disruptor. That's probably actually it'll probably go to disruptor since it is pretty much the best ags in Dota right now. But we'll see. Yeah, Roche almost max respawn. They have to know it's pretty much there, so we'll get started on that. Nouns, we're gonna see a quick smoke in the mid lane. It does get scouted by a ward though, so OG know that this rotation is coming, and BZM as well as the rest of the team, they're gonna fight them straight up on the high ground. They do not seem to care. Tiny, does he go for the play? The huge like chains catches too, and the dude comes in. They need help in fast. They've spiked the four staffs away onto the warfling, but it's not gonna be enough. He just trapped his three cores, just managed to stay on top of him. It's a one for one trade, but a one massively favoring OG. They're gonna buy back here on the Morphlings, tries to get into this. They do manage to get on top of the Sark. He's just protected by the Shadow Dance. The buyback's in pursuit once again. It's gonna be OG forced away. Sark will just pounce away as well. I mean, you lose almost nothing on OG. You force th like two really big buybacks out of nouns. Yeah. It's massive, but the one issue is. You don't have Doom for this next Roche fight. And Gunner understands that. They're just gonna go straight for Roche, knowing that the big thing that's ruining this fight is gone. That's true. They have to find a way to contest on OG, but without the Doom, it feels a lot harder than it should be. The question is, who do you even give this Ags to, man? Like, there's not like a clear Ags taker uh, for, for now. It's like... That's the problem. Hmm. Like, yeah, you'll get Aegis, which you need to get on the Morphling, but... Yeah, there's an argument to give it maybe to Mu. Like, the Voodoo Switcheroo also gets the upgraded Death Ward. So it can be pretty useful. I don't I don't know if you really lack that much damage. 
and you could just hand it over to Yamsen as well. Like an extra morph illusion could be big in these fights. Do a lot of damage. Yeah. Especially with a right morph, morph form if you manage to pop it at that moment. And you might be able to bait with it too. Oh, they're going to go into the Rochon, and it's falling fast, man. This Bloodborne doing some work. BZM trying to scout it here on the Ember. He will see it. It's incredibly low. He pops the BKB going in. The A just snatched by Gunner. Oh my gosh, DM. DM what is he grabbing? Everything. He grabs the A. He grabs the Ags and the Cheese, and Morphling now in some trouble. Mind make his lay up onto the high ground. Nice slight chains, but the Death War doing some damage. DM trying to TP back to the base. I think the Maledic might be able to finish him off. He pops the Cheese in the Fountain. He's going to be just fine. Now Mu surrounded here as they manage to get on top of BZM's Ember. He falls again. You're wrong. No, he's still all right. He's just pouncing on through. Tiny now on the run. This might be a dieback for him. And it will be. Oh, no. They, they just run in. They managed to take everything. I'm sure you lose the Aegis, but you got the cheese. You got the free Ags. Like, this is still everything OG pretty much need. So they get the free Ags upgrade ready to go. Still not sure who they're going to be handing that off to, whether or not it's true or BZM. It's got to be on a career. Both are. What? Where is it? I have no they idea. They left at the base. Oh, it is it's just, just in base. base. Okay, okay, it's BZM. Gonna... Yeah. I was like, the Ember's right. Aghanim Scepter is so good. Yeah, I mean, more mobility, more spirits out. I, I, I suppose you don't really need the mute on Static Storm when you have AoE Doom, so kind of redundant there. Yep. So... Now you have this hyper mobile Ember that you haven't been oh able to lock down. They got the CK. Tries right. to get four staff. I mean, he's just he's just so vulnerable. Yes. Like, there's, there's not too much counterplay there for Yuragi. Oh, for sorry, Yamsen. The Y is kind of you know, confusing there. The um, the side of nouns. I, I'm not sure what the game plan coming back here is, because your your team fight is really wonky with an offlane witch doctor. Like it, it it does feel like this is kind of all in on Gunner trying to outplay. Literally him against the world, maybe you get some good connections from Lelis and Husky as well, but it does feel like the only relevant core right now is this morph. Like we're not at the point where your CK is one shotting here as just yet, and he even he's being kited around by the glimpses from two quite well. Like this disruptor with the telescope up and the glimpse, like that is that is a stupid amount of range. That is actually not fair. Yeah, it's, That's it's, screen to screen for me. It's, yeah, it's very hard to play around. Yeah, you just can't. Like you jump in as a CK. We saw this a couple of times from Yamsen. He comes in and tries to kill Chu, but he gets glimpsed back and Chu just walks away. No problems. Yep. And you now have the. Uh, I'm not sure if you pointed out. Did you, did you see the refresher on Doom now? Oh, he picked it up. All right. Yeah, he's got I it. I did not. Okay, double Doom. Or, you know, just having a Doom, a surprise Doom ready when they think it's on cooldown, that's massive. I don't think you need. I, you don't even need double Doom in the fights. You just need a second Doom for a later fight. Smoke is Moonlight Shadow in the mid lane. They do manage to pop them. The Avalanche catch the Disruptor, but they need to be careful because guess who's on the backside once again? Oh, it's a two hero doom. The chain's holding them down, and Yamsung doesn't even get to enter the fight. Front side, more flink. Stuck for a moment. Does have Waveform to try and get away in a, in a moment. They've got the Witch Doctor too. He does have the buyback. They've got to get out of here, man. The pounces continue. The doom oh, just gosh. locking them in place. That's going to be the Aegis. There's nothing left in the tank here for now, man. War Stomp into the pounces. He can't get out, man. Gunner is just in so much trouble. Waveform to the low ground, but they just continue to chase as there's going to be a dieback now on your oh, morph. Boy. I, yeah, it's a dieback, and he also bought out for the site, so even if even if he had buyback timer, he wouldn't have the gold. Two minutes without Gunner. The one here that, again, has felt like it's it's their saving grace. Maybe now you just kind of hope for tossbacks and try to punish someone, but OG are so far ahead and so damn scary. Like, this is where yeah. Slark trying for to do essence shift or permanent agi. You cannot deal with his hero. Not at all. Yeah, even the... even have a linking up on Taiga. Like that's how far ahead you are. Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, you don't even get the morph now. I mean, not that it matters, because no. he is dead, but yeah, 35, 36k gold lead, 37k gold lead, it just keeps adding. Up to the last lane of Eric's the top side of the map, and 
It doesn't look like Nouns are really going to be able to contest this. Yamsun's going to come out of base. They pop the Moonlight Shadow, and I mean, maybe you find techies if you're lucky, but like you said, he's got a Lincoln. I don't think he really cares all that much. The Avalanche, the toss back, gets the BKB off, though, and Yamsun needs to find a target, but he can't. They just burst down Tiny instead, and it's illusions. They're all gone. And hit the Slark. 56. Agi shift. 224 stolen Agi. Oh, still snares the self doom. DM just goes in. We'll lock down the CK. And a beautiful ult there from the disruptor. And that's GG, man. Beautiful turnaround. OG playing to their strength. They know that they've got this in the game late game. They just need to stem the bleeding early. They did it, man. Perfectly executed. Yeah, they play spectacularly on OG. Sure, the early game was a little bit rough coming out from them. Nouns played really aggressively, but again, it just boiled down to those moments where Nouns would try to make a rotation and nothing would happen. Like they.